Mix, ganja, cigarette, cone bees, bucket bomb. Yeah. Stop it, buddy. This one you got back in a smoke. Yeah. M3 loose one. This is a bucket bomb. Plastic. There's cherry can here. Get the cherry can, look around for plastic and cut it open and put them in. Snip it. And there it is, look, it's snipping the petrol, the blood, with the bottle. Close, close, close. Keep going. Go close. Keep going. Go up, go up. There, there. Close, really close. Keep going, keep going. Go up, go up. They're coming. Oh, to get like a doodle. There's stuff, stuff around thing. Oh, Daka. We call him Takadoro. This one. Right, don't get in the room. Yeah, we call him Takadoro. This one. <laughs> Taste it. Yes, we can eat it. Um, people all moved from Asplop to Pupanya and started the settlement here. And there were um, lots of tribes here. There was um, Walpri, uh, Lurichabindubi, Aranda, uh, Majira, and a couple of Pijinjara people was here. Some around about 80s and 60s, they all learned how to speak English and went back to their own um, rightful country. But some of my ancestors uh, stayed here at Popanya and now we are the today's generation Popanya people. Studio painting and cleanup. After lunch, me and Ryan are gonna finish painting studio. Clean up Wednesday. Wednesday, what are you cooking? And then Kunga cooking on Thursday. Thursday. Cooking. The Dutch mob from Melbourne are coming on Friday to look at the happy and sad paintings. The girls have finished their happy ones. Have the guys finished their happy ones? Not yet. So we need to finish your happy one and we need to do our sad one. We do it in separate areas. Yeah, yeah in separate we'll, areas. We'll organise that. Andrea, what do you reckon this afternoon? Get the girls together? Yeah? And do you reckon they'll paint? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I'll put that as my little playlist youth activity for the week. That sounds good. Tomorrow afternoon. Maybe, maybe go out bush. Um, do some bush stuff and then paint. Are you keen? We're just talking about the happy painting and how she's going to get all the girls to help us out with it tomorrow. Today, um, Pupanya is really good, but in the past we had struggled with lots of bad things in the past, like uh, there was a big massive battle snipping was happening here, and we fight, we had a biggest fight with that. <laughs> Say like 10, 15 years ago, if you would have been walking beside me, it would have been big shame for myself. I would have been crying. It would have been upsetting for me to take you around this community. But at, at this day today, it makes me happy and I could be feel free to show you everything. Welcome! Doom!
Diego, vamos para allá. Oh, well, the youth program, look. Saturday, bush trip with Kungas and Watties and Ullas. Oh. And computer room now. Yeah. No pushing. Make a line. Kungas, go in the Kunga room because I think there's going to be too many. Yeah, things was a bit hard, you know, like sniffing and that. I tried it when I was younger, but yeah, didn't like it. Just seeing the older guys, you know, seeing them sniffing it and trying to follow them because, you know, they, they're older guys. So when we were younger, we, we looked at the older guys. We happened at like a computer room here. We didn't have a proper youth workers here. They changed the field uh, to Opal from one unleaded field to a um, mobile field, so yeah. We could see the results when the children all went back to normal. Pupanya won the 40 coin final in Alice Springs. That was a good outcome from that, because everything stopped, like spittle sniffing and that. I'm really happy with Carlos Mob because um, what they're doing today with youth workers bringing it out here and to deal with just with the kids issue and that's really good. Carlos is an anti-petrol sniffing program and like all substance abuse reduction programs we work on two fronts which is uh, demand reduction and supply reduction. In supply reduction we have uh, low aromatic fuels like opal that reduces the availability of the substance that's being abused. Uh, the other half of the equation is demand reduction, reducing the demand for that, for that substance uh, in, the, in the population. Once the supply reduction kicked in and there wasn't any sniffable fuel in Papania, it became a lot easier to engage people in the youth programs. <laughs> We've taught the younger people and we gave, told them that every mountain, every water has a name, every tree has a name, every road has a name. That's called Anjali, that hill over there. But it's divided. That's called Ulumbaro. Ulumbaro. They go hunting with the elders, they're getting strong, play sackball, basketball, football. That, that hill is onion dream. Yeah, dreamy. When you get up that hill, the hill, that big hill will move. It's like a family group responsibility where the older child can stand up and teach all the youngers. In the past, everyone was focusing on one thing. Now it, it's all individual and different ages, groups. It's really good. Now no one sniff here. The problem with sniffing is it happens very rapidly. So even though this community's got really terrific programs for young people, um, it still can flare up really quickly. It's really important to make sure that there's programs in place that really excites and interests them and that involve a lot of other kids in the community to make sure that 
even if there is a supply of fuel that comes into the community, that their demand for or their need for sniffing has been reduced greatly by the fact that they've got all these other much more interesting things to do. So when you look at the happy painting, you can see sort of, I don't know, this is sort of all bush tucker and bush trips and the youth toyota are sort of facilitating that. And then this is all sort of modern stuff. So it's sort of traditional and modern and what people like doing. It's really good stuff. And it means that we can work on doing programs that make people happy as well. So all the things that we talked about in the meeting are represented on the painting and which is why we keep doing them. This is the girl's sad one that they've started. Hmm, interesting. And this is the boys' one. Over there you've got a young fella with a chain. He's locked up. You red one and yellow one. And green one. Green one and yellow one. Yellow one. Don't go and pull it up black one. Yellow one. Huh? Pull it up black one. Yellow one. Uh, this one is wrong story, you know, bad feeling, some feeling, you know, when you have problems, you might want to drink. When you got problems, you fight, you go to jail. Uh, if you, you know, a little bit gory, you might snip petrol, go have a bong, smoke, and if you get locked up. Foolish thing. I want all this thing they're doing there is the bad stuff. Those people turning down there, Alice Springs. What is he feeling? Feeling so bad. Why about is he it? feeling bad? Worrying about his family, feeling about his home, culture and stuff. What about the broken heart? <laughs> 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 There's the one man beneath his wife, and he got his heart broken, he's in jail. He gone back into jail, make your time there. Get out, and I don't know what you're going to do. I think when you get out, I think you're going to be good or not. No, don't You can choose this life, or you can choose that life. Good, happy, walking around in country. <laughs> The last time they broke in, there was 15 kids involved in the break-in. <laughs> it took four pizzas, a few packets of chips and a few packets of drinks, headed the pizzas in the microwave in the shop and left again. They were just hungry and bored. Yeah. Because at 5 o'clock at night we closed, or 6 o'clock at night we closed, there is not a lot left out here to do after that. No. Anywhere else in the world you go and you've got place to see, place to go. Activities are the biggest problem solvers all. Yeah. We get broken into because people are bored. Yeah. They're breaking to use my computer. They don't steal them, they're just breaking to use them. <laughs> what I like about Bupanya is um, disco and the room and football and play soccer, play snooker or, you know, or that skateboard. Temperado. Dance. Having fun. We do fun stuff. I like um, disco. Playing with your Sand. 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 Arts and crafts. Walk up there to, um, to the mountain. Go hunting for onions and kangaroos. Dance around out there. Support and, and talk footy. Back the war. Conquer night. We all play together. Like we family. When we're hungry, we go back home, eat supper. Beck does um yeah she does computer room and stuff. Hola me. Hola me. Hola me. So, what do you guys teach at the computer? 
Um, it's the computers aren't really about teaching. It's more about having fun and letting people have space to have their own fun. Papania has got a number of different uh, demand reduction uh, strategies that we support, and one of the key features of them is that they arise from the community. It's not like we try and make people go places. It's more like going to the community and just seeing where people are at and where people's interest is. That said, you know, I don't think you'll find many young people who aren't interested in computers and the internet. People from Papania come to the computer room for all different purposes. You've just got a constant flow of people, always in and out. Anything you can think of on the internet or that could be on a computer, they're using. They're using things I've never even used before. They have to show me. It's just, it's, it's an amazing place. Older women, they can get out of the house and come and sit down and just relax and not get humbugged by anyone. And the younger kids, we just teach them how to use all the programs that they want to use. And same with the older ones, they're all really good with iPads and they know how to download their own apps. <laughs> In Papania there's also um, another demand reduction strategy is the locals have a, a, a football comp which they want to which unlike the main football comp that runs in Alice Springs and draws heaps of people into Alice Springs and into high-risk situations the uh, intention of the uh, Papania based football competition is that it doesn't go to town. It circulates from community to community out bush. When you're playing in uh, WDFL, in community it's try, like there's no grog or drugs involved. So, but in Alice, yeah, because it's town, they got alcohol and yeah, drugs and that. Yeah, you, you could say it's deliberate because it helps. That's the main main thing. All the fellows here, they're just getting together. It has been a long time. Everyone's all just been inside, but you can see one, another, two coming. So that's the way we always find them from home. They always keen to play footy, but they're all stuck inside, waiting for something to happen or waiting for someone. Usually it's me. Uh, my name is Kevin Forbes. I'm uh, just staying here with Prod, just get out from jail. I'm uh, just staying here with my families, looking after my family. Cousins, sisters, brothers, niece, nephews. Too many. And they're happy to see me here. Yeah, it's a good place, happy place for me. And does it help you keep out of trouble here? Yeah, it's right. Happy. Too much family is looking after me. And what's your favourite thing to do in Papania? I uh, play football, look after my families, walk around, turn the internet, Facebook. Don't feel like doing anything, like drugs, drinking. Feel like staying here forever, play football in Papania. Yeah, all the young fellas are coming. Gonna have a run, have a kick, sweat it out. Hopefully get a six pack. Listen to me. Oh.
I'm from the bush. I'm talking to you. you can make it. I'm from the bush. Got my life. From the bush. I'm different to you. Give it all you need. We don't ask for much. In the bush. Give it all you need. Can't you understand? We got to have our land. In the bush. Where I live. We come to the computer room because we love doing activities. We go on to the base for chat with friends. And we look in YouTube. Yeah. YouTubes. And learn a lot of stuff. iMovies making iMovies with the softballs. Just playing on the piano. Um, Facebook. Facebook and, and game and online. Facebook. Play music. Put all the songs in my iPod, GarageBand, and show to the recording live music, a lot of stuff. Chat with the friends, families. Friends from here or from? Everywhere. We write letters saying, how are you? That they can write back to us. From Sydney. Some from... Amersburg, and Irkunji, and little boys from Melbourne. The best thing we seen on YouTube is Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Movie. Maybe cartoon or football. Uh, dolphins. Uh, dolphins. Tigers. Animals. Like big is monkey. Drunk people. <laughs> Drunk people. Yeah. They fall down. <laughs> they make us laugh. Yeah. But no fighting videos. Yeah. Yeah, no, like wrestling. No. No. How to make cakes or how to make stuff like that. How to make cakes? Yeah, you know, like rainbow cakes, and that's what kids watch. And then what? Do you go and make the cakes at home? No, because we, we don't have it. We, didn't, we don't buy it. Sometimes. What, what did the kids... Respond to They love um, football, softball, and cooking. Were you surprised that cooking was so popular? Yeah, everybody loves cooking. They, they thought the cooking was for the girls, and then they watched all them shows, and they got the idea, and then if she can cook, we, I can cook, and everybody can. Shut your mouth and just cook! We got looking on your first <laughs> yeah? Doing the washing up. 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 Doing the
washing up. Do the washing up. Do the washing up. Do the washing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Letting in. Do that thing. Can be. We wanna do something fun. Do a music in that mini keyboard. Music is better than camera. Music's better than camera. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working with a young band called Mad Boys. They're just starting up and I'm just helping them to write their own song. They used to go at night time and steal at the shop and then they got into trouble and I was at the meeting and I was a bit worried about them and, and I, I was thinking, what am I going to do to help these young, young boys? And then I told them to clean up the studio and then we made them to write song and play one of our songs and then I just told them we'll make a band and we're gonna name the band called Mad Boys. When computer rooms was in there and we'll be boring. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it shouldn't have the richer eh? No. Why not? Alright, create new worlds. What's the name of the song? Japinunda. Japinunda, which means? Means um, a girl asked me. A girl it's asked you. A, it's about a boy, but it's about this girl that is asking for this boy. Did you go to school today? Yes. Why are you here today? What's the time? Uh, two. It finishes at three. Yes, because I'm the... Um, only one. Yeah. You're the only one at school? Yeah. One big one. Other kids? There are only little kids. Where, 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 where are all the other girls? Oh. Where are all the other girls? They're gone. Where? The end is gone to the moon. Oh. And so you didn't want to be there by yourself with all the little kids? Oh, well, what's going to happen to him? Throw him up? Are you going to take him to the computer room every day? Yeah? Hey, Ola! Out of the computer room! Out you get Come on! My favourite room in Papanya is the Kunga room because I am a Kunga. Kunga room, only for the girls. That doesn't allow boys in it because it's Kunga room and it's for Kungas. Boys are like, they crazy. You're mad, you're mad, you're mad, you're mad. You're mad, no, that's a Kunga room. Yeah. It's such a wonderful space where girls can come and relax and be themselves and talk girl talk and there's nowhere in the community that's like that it just doesn't it doesn't exist look at the artwork carolyn's been doing on her phone look oh that's cool did you do that yeah and it, it, it's wonderful, like, what he's known not to come here. It's just really a girly, girly space. And before disco, they all come in here and they do their hair and their makeup and they get really excited. And if they've got boyfriend trouble, they'll frequently knock on my door and say, oh, can we just sit in the Kunga room? Just really need to send a Facebook message. There's a lot of shame around sort of talking to men and women talking to, you know, the boys and the girls talking together. Just sort of being really shy as they're growing into this new sort of adulthood. Um, and there's just, and shame is a huge thing. The computers allow individuality to flourish and it just reinforces that it's okay to be who you are 
that, it, that someone else out there is similar to you. It's about identity and finding yourself and that's what sort of knowledge and the computers facilitate. You know when someone's looking at something they don't want other people to see, they'll just turn the computer on its side and you're like, what are you looking at? And they'll show you and you're like, yeah, that's fine. And it'll just be something even simple like cooking gummy bears, but they don't want to share that with everyone. Um, that, that's what they want to do. Or, or looking at a, a comedy that no one else has ever thought of or a foreign language film. And then it does become shared and everyone does sort of go, oh, yeah, that's quite cool. And it's the same with cyberbullying and things or violence. When someone's doing something wrong, you'll see it straight away and then it'll, it'll actually be a really good thing because people will be like, yeah, no, that's not acceptable. Um, and it stops unacceptable behaviour and that which will penetrate into the community too. So if bullying's going on um, and people see it and it's not allowed in the computer room, obviously it's not allowed outside. A lot of boys sending whole cups message. Yeah, well that's not cool. And he's saying like, oh, don't text my girlfriend. He's getting killed. Well, well, it's his fault for changing your password. We'll just change it back. No. You don't want him knowing all your Facebook stuff and having him talk to people. No, I'm going to make a new one. Yeah, but then he can still use your old one. Enter a phone number. I'll enter my phone number. Oh, what I'll do, I'll go into my Facebook and I'll find someone. Oh, just leave it. No, because someone's in your Facebook. And you shouldn't let anyone know your password. Sometimes, obviously, people can find out people's passwords. It's shame. Like, it's not shame. Know. It's not shame. It's, you know, it's an issue that we have. If he doesn't give you the password, Beck from the computer room is going to report it and then he's going to get in big trouble because those reports also go to the police. Ooh. And it's illegal to go into someone else's account. Yeah? You are? Yeah. For me, it is the social space it creates. Like every morning someone comes up and tells me what's happened the night before and then they all have a chat and we talk about the behaviour and is that behaviour acceptable? Do we think it's good? Do we think it's not so good? The little girls will frequently, not little, but teenagers frequently sit on the steps and tell me, you know, ghost stories which will then turn to real life stories which will then promote positive attitude change to things like STDs, domestic violence and all the rest of negative behaviour. And that's, and then they can Google it and we can say, you know, this is what an STD actually looks like. And now we can all go to the clinic. <laughs> so what sort of cake are we gonna get? Carrot cake. Carrot cake and maybe some bananas. And we're gonna get some oranges too. It's not just a computer room. It's also another place where people can be supported. It's another set of eyes and ears that are hearing people and reacting to them and helping them make better choices and not engage in risky behaviour. And which one's your boyfriend? I just try to be a friend. That's all I want to be. Just someone people can talk to. I like your hair, by the way. Very new. Looks very good. It's your birthday present. I need something that you have to help me. What is it? Because Felicia's going to boarding school and I want to make her a little present and a little present for your birthday the other day. Hey, first boy, I'm going to So we're going to have... Have you missed the bush bus? Yeah, she missed the bus. Oh, Felicia. Uh, uh. So none of the Kungus who were meant to go to boarding school today have gone. Okay, and who's meant to be going with Numina? Because someone said Caitlin was meant to be going to boarding school and that she hasn't gone either. We're about to cook pancakes with Felicia as a going away present and then they said that she's missed the bus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. I'll speak to you in five. Bye. You and Nathaniel and Numina are all meant to be on that bus. Maybe you can all go in on Friday. How are you getting in on Friday? Is the bus getting you on Friday? Felicia. Felicia. Oh, were they getting picked up by Urara or the bush bus? Urara. Okay. I'm just going up to school to see if the kids have coupons for Monday Night Reward Nut. And if they're not, just see which kids are in class. The program is just that all the kids who went to school on Monday, because it's the first day of the week, get a coupon. These are the really good quality vouchers for kids to be able to go and use the computer program. But they've got to be at school to attend the school and um, work well. And then they get a voucher and they take it to the computer program. So you're bribing them? Yeah, effectively here, bribing them. <laughs> and that the computer room is really important because what it, it's everybody in every other part of the country has access to a computer, a tablet, an iPad, and the way you keep in contact with people in the world is by computer, by Skype, by all these sorts of things, emails, and you need the skills in this area. 
to be able to do that. Especially with, you know, grade six and grade sevens, just getting them engaged and so that they won't do that at-risk behaviour when they grow up. Yeah, that's really divergent. important, yeah. It's amazing that you've got better computers there than we've got in the school yeah, too. That's so that's that's, that's another plus, isn't it? So what's that for? For computer. Because we got a skill, that's why Every they give day. us one of these. And yeah. What about Courtney and stuff? No. Hi. Gianna, are you going to get Courtney and stuff to go to school tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? What do you want to be when I'm you, going when on. you get up? <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I don't know because I'm still young. Maybe working at the anti room or maybe working somewhere else. Maybe in a, maybe working in a different community. I want to be a policeman. <laughs> Why do you want to be a policeman, Mum? Because tell them to. drunk people to go home and not drinking because your kid's crying. <laughs> and no smoking! I would love to work at the Kalis because I don't know. Because no because they know a lot of stuff about computer, don't they? Do lots of kids go to school? Yep. Some some people some kids don't go to school. And why do you go to school? So when you grow up you know everything. Not not everything, like some things that you learn. Because we don't know everything. The kids are working on a project that we've been doing at school and um, the computer room are just helping out and teaching some new skills on iMovie. They're editing an AFL football game that the boys played last term and they're playing it against Kintor. So they've been editing, putting things in and the girls, when they come, they do it about softball. And they're putting songs and titles and stuff like that. So it's recapping of what we're doing at school. Very exciting. We've seen four grand finals here today, one to come after this, all up at the centre. We're thinking we're going to have a movie night in the Conga Room. What sort of movies do they like watching? I don't know, we can go ask them. <laughs> Who's yelling in here? <laughs> Fun is what it's all about. Okay, 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 fine. Fast and Furious 6 isn't a Creating a fun environment, that gets people here. And that leads to everything else. What else do you want to watch? Ah! Hey, with the popcorn? You know, when kids come here after school, they'll jump on one of the computers and start dancing. It's the fun. If teenagers come here at 9 o'clock at night, sometimes I'll let them in if they've been at school. And I'd rather them in here accessing information and learning how to spell than being out there engaging in that risky sort of behaviour. Making a spear for foot. We can we make side pretty. So what's that you got, Jason? Drumstick. And this is bush stick. And instead of going Alice Spring, buying new drumstick, make one in the bush.
recording? Oh, recording. Oh, you sing now, come here. Yeah, you sing now. Why sing now? Let's play. Yeah, why sing now? Let's play. 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 We're running out of options for, the, for keeping the computer room going. Like it's um, it's a fantastic thing, and it's really popular with the community. But um, we can't find any ongoing sponsorship for it. But then the store has expressed an interest in running it as part of their new shed, the um, Wala Itacha Social Club. I need this to break even and make money possible. Yeah. So you're well, telling me they want to put the computer in here as a computer type kiosk? Potentially, yes. Potentially. You need to find someone with money. Yep. You're funded for how long? I don't know. Okay. Because this brings it up to the next level. It becomes a serious thing. It's not a game. It's something... No, it's not a game. To fund an, a full-time employee, plus cleaning, plus maintenance, plus... It needs to become a proper business. Yeah. It's no longer a gift. It is actually a social Yeah, plan. yeah. It is going to be a business. Yeah, it's going to be a serious business. That's what everyone wants, is yep. a business. So we need your computers. We need all the things that will bring yeah, yeah. people here. You need accommodation and you need a wage. Yeah. So ADSL and sewage are the main things if we want computers and cooking. Yes. A cook is going to be allowed to use the gym. be allowed to use exercise equipment. So Monday would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Awesome. Here is tables and chairs that people can sit on. Internet, all those type of things could be quite possible here. That's where the projector box will be. Pool tables will be there. They're paid for it. People have to put money in yeah, them. Yeah. If they want to put computers here, computers up there, Excellent. But this is history, mate. Yeah. No other community has anything like this. It will work <laughs> if we had the right people 
Yeah. And yeah. we just need money. Yeah. So if they take it on, it'll be take, yeah. taken on as an enterprise, yeah. which is fine. And it could go on to provide sort of local employment. Right. So you get it up and running. We're on the same page that it has to be financially viable. Yeah, why do we want to make new one? Is she Zana Kungis? So you don't have to delete your whole profile, you can block someone and they won't even know. So if it's a Kunga that's like causing your hassle, we'll just block it. You don't have to delete the whole thing. Uh, put your password in again. No grog, no ganja. Maybe we don't have to do a face, maybe we could just have a man with a stick could have it more in the centre. Stop hurting women. Yeah, no punching women, no hurting women. Yeah, yeah stop. Yeah. And here it is. Uh, for a lot of the young fellas, this was their first time actually getting a paintbrush and doing a bit of uh, painting, but in a different way where we are told to bring out your feelings. And, you know, it just shows how much was kept inside without anyone knowing, but then now you know what they know is good and bad, and the things they love to go out country, go good feelings, and, you know, go war all, and go hunting, play guitar, and, you know, but then, they know the bad bits of everything where, you know, smoking and drinking can cause harm, you know. Um, but, you know, it brings out the feeling, what, what they feel. It is a good way, you know, you know. It brings out all this. I just didn't know it was in them, you know. But they're doing it for fun and they're happy and now they're happy that it's finished. <laughs> We might do a little competition for kids. Whoever hits um, Spear the Kangaroo will win some kind of prize. Unimo Sports and Big Hand this weekend. And then this one, right here in the moon. And get directions. How long does it take to get there? All the people are talking about the sports weekend and seeing what's happening. There's no access to phones really apart from the pay phone, so it just makes it easy for people to communicate really quickly about fun things that are going on between the communities, which family members are coming when, and sort of be able to organise lift and things like that. I think the Papanya bus is actually even going, so it's really good. And it's, you know, it's good for me as well, so I know what people are up to. Why are boys going to beat them? Are you a good chance for winning at the footy? Might be. This year, might. I'm going to go find what I know. Well, I try to win, we might. They're good players. They love coming to the community. They love sport. They're good. Tell us about the footy. Yeah, it's a bit fun. Travelling around for boys. Football, carnival. Yeah, there's too many people come, uh, you know, enjoying the football. The Sierra Notch. We bring a football team here and all the people come here just to pay respect to our family as well. Some of our relatives are living here. So it's not just for the players, it's for the family as well? Yeah, for the families. Make them happy, make them proud. Yeah, it does, it makes the players more proud and, and our family as well. When they grow up, they'll be you know, stepping in to do their part. 
you know, a time to meet up with families who missed on funerals or maybe somebody married from another community, you know, visiting their country and visiting their family. So it's all for our mob, you know, for Aboriginal people, yeah, that's what, well, especially for the communities. Yeah, yeah it's good. Um, yeah, every year we always come up and support Yilmo Sports. Last time we played there, we, we won the competition. So we'll try one more time to win. What's become your team's main strength? Uh, just teamwork. Yeah, I like us, uh, you know, group. It's not about winning, it's about well being, you know, getting family together, sharing, you know. With all the young ones here and the family here, so they're all here. But they only turn up when we play football. So we've got a young team, they're only young, 16, 17, but it's a learning for, for them. We're going to start building up, building up. Yeah. It's not about winning, going and winning straight away. It takes time, years. <laughs> In a way, for Aboriginal people, there's you know problems with our mob, problem among, amongst family, you know, fighting and drugs and alcohol. But you know, for a good weekend, everybody's having a good time. You know, that's what, and that's what we need: more weekends of a good family event. You know, you know, brings us together. The Panya Computer Room is such a great resource, and it's something that's always open and always running as well. You know, people do rely on that. And so if they can't find a staff member to staff it for a month, the day that it's open, it's just hectic. And people are really upset that it's being closed. And that kind of doesn't really happen anywhere else in, in the community apart from the shop. <laughs> even though it's an excellent diversionary activity, and even though it ticks a whole lot of boxes in terms of bringing numeracy and literacy into people's lives in a way where it's not an academic pursuit, it's looking like we might have to close the Papania computer room. That's why we're here. We're here to see whether we can move the Papania computer room to another phase where it is embedded in a local community organisation, which is always our end game in, in Kalis. We're always trying to develop things up, get the wheels on, make sure they work, and then see if we can sort of embed them. Well, I was thinking, like, uh, if we can run a media thing in, in here, like to filming and yeah. editing to record and keep it and show the young generation after, you know, so we can show this is what we've done in this community. We can show more of Papania, what we did yeah. over those years. You know, the Warren B. Band to start it off and, you know, yeah. football was real good in this community, strong. Na neighborhood watch, yeah. all that. Yeah. And we got the buildings over there yeah. that we own and the truck we own, you know, Papania, it's really doing. You know, yeah. If you can do it, other people can see, other community yeah. can see. Someone can take over telling yeah. their stories, you know. But this thing. is what left over from the past and gone forward, you know, with a bit of confidence. There's a lot of people with good skills, like who've yeah, yeah, been yeah, using the computer room. We can keep six here, and that can be the start of like the little media thing, and then have ten over there. Just have to encourage them. Do it, you know? Yeah, yeah. We, we started it, you do it, you yeah. know, and keep on, and then other people have all this idea with us, and, but we didn't know how to do it. So mm. you're, you're with, yeah. with their... All I'm just doing is their, facilitating your With your, your ideas. experience and with our yeah, your ideas. Enough, to yeah. go forward. If we're going to go down this path, mm. now we need to sort of get some space in there and get it organised. Yeah. Mm. And we need to get the internet over there, so that means we need to get on the phone to Telstra. We need a hold dog for the Telstra people to put the cabling in mm. as a gift from the council to the Papunia community. You guys can keep, you can own yeah. those computers. Yeah. That's mm. the can first thing the media association can own. Yeah, mm. so we've got 10 grand to start with. That'll get the internet over there, the cable clack for Telstra, all those type of things. We want and their then money. And that's last day for Beck working for us, and you're going yeah. to hire her. I and think all we the need assets this person, will go right? over yeah. to, to you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So we're happy to put her on the payroll. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, day one. More old grey hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, boss. Well, if you guys both sign it, that's official. Sid floated the idea that this is maybe the time to start the Literature Media Association, which is a way of sort of pulling together all of the media resources that, um, that already exist, as well as generating new stuff, uh, like what you guys are doing. Um, 
that can sort of capture the story of Papunya and be there to pass on to, to new generations. Like we went from a sort of crisis situation where we had to close the computer room through that to a resolution of that where it's going on and being embedded in a local community store where it'll have an ongoing life and the creation on, on this day of a whole new enterprise which uh, the community really wants. So, yeah, it's been quite a day. And say get out. The computer room is pretty much a necessity now. People are always here. No, people from the community, white fellas, black fellas, everyone is coming to use the space. And it's not just about providing training or certificates. It's sort of more holistic than that. It's connecting people with their families, with the world, with access to, to knowledge. What food do they have in Italy? And it's their choice what they do with it. It's not even just that at-risk group as well, it's the young ones, the ones who are going to grow up to be that at-risk group, who are so engaged in it now, because it's already been around for a few years. That they're already growing into understanding themselves, the world better, and the sort of pressures, and also being able to talk to people about them. It gives them the really good fundamentals to negotiate those sort of hard times in their life and that's going to prevent that at-risk behaviour from penetrating into the next generation. It gives them pathways into alternative sort of, you know, ways of living your life. If you want to make people change, you must say to the person, he could be a leader in future time or something else. It's hard to say you have been in the drugs, you're drug now. You've been in the snipping petrol, you've been snipping petrol now. Maybe put it good way. We must feel what they feel and communicate in a good way and make them feel to be safe feeling that they want to feel good way too. We managed to get our boys and girls back to how they were and we don't look back on that anymore. We want people to come out to Papanya and teach more. We are all looking forward to young people and the older people. Everyone's looking at lots of new ways, working together to make Papanya a better place. And Papanya is looking forward for what's tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it.